and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over enumerating and exploiting FTP, and it is the last three tasks of this room, Network Services, which is part of CompTIA Pentest Plus. Uh, in this video, as you can see, I'm not going to go over understanding FTP. All of you know what is FTP, of course. And we're going to go over task 9 and task 10 to enumerate and exploit FTP. Now, most of you who, who uh, do Hack the Box, Vernable Hub, and other boxes on the internet probably know how to exploit FTP. So this is going to be very basic, finding out an FTP server that allows anonymous access. And once we get access to the FTP server, we're going to find a text file that contains a username. In the username, we're going to uh, do brute force with Hydra and get access. So it's, gonna, it's very basic. Uh, if you know how to exploit FTP, then this video is not for you. It is very basic, very beginner oriented. And then we're going to answer the questions. OK. So basically, what we're given here, we're given the IP address of the machine, and we are tasked to, let me check. So sudo and map. And here we specify this kind of our choice. I'm going to choose dash a, dash sp, put the IP, and Keep going. So after the scan is finished, it will reveal that there is FTP running on the service, on the machine. And we can just try from now. We're going to wait the MLAB scan. It is very clear that this room is FTP oriented. So I'm going to open a new tab. <clears throat> and here, next part, once we find out that there's an FTP service running, we simply try to connect to it. So we type FTP and the IP address of the target. As you can see, I'm connected now. Now, one thing to try whenever we connect to an FTP server, it is less, it is not uh, so common to find an FTP server that allows anonymous access, but still careless people exist. So we may try with anonymous as username and the password as anonymous. As you can see, the login has been successful. And uh, we, luckily, we have found a careless system admin who left their FTP server configured to allow anonymous access. Now, the next thing, once we are logged in, whether with anonymous access or without anonymous access, now the next phase is the enumeration. So basically, we can use Linux commands to see what exists in the FTP directory. So we type ls, ls-la, where you can do that. As you can see, we have a file public notice. This file exists in the FTP directory. Now, a good rule of thumb when we get access to an FTP server is to retrieve the files that exist in the directory to get an idea of what's going on there. So we type get public The file has been downloaded in my local machine. I can now log out, or without logging out, let me now get back here to the NMAP scan. As you can see, the port 21 has already, uh, has, sorry, has, uh, has shown to be open. And indeed, it is open. So basically, I can go ahead now and view the content of the file that we have just retrieved. So cat public, where is the file? Okay, ls, so this is the file. So we have a message here, and the message ends with a name, okay? The name is Mike, and this means that this could be a username, okay, used to log in. Now, you know that we have now an anonymous access to the FTP server. So most of the time, this access is limited and restricted and doesn't have a wide, per a wide permission to perform uh, privileged access, privileged uh, um, things on the FTP server. So we need more privileged sessions. So what we can try to do here, we can take the username we have just found out here and try to find a password for this user to log into the FTP server with a privileged user. So what we can do here, we can type sudo hydra. 
Okay, and then let's say, for example, we want to specify user and password lists. In our case, it's only one username, so we're going to specify dash L, Mike. And if you want to know how to use Hydra, we have covered the room in Troy Hackme on how to use this password cracking tool. You can get back to it and see the basic use of Hydra. And next, we type dash uppercase P, and then we type the password to the username list. User share award lists rock you dot txt. Then we type VV for verbosity, so we want to see every login attempt live. So we type VV, and then we type FTP and the IP address of the target, which is right here. Enter. So we get one successful attempt, Mike, and the password is password. So we try sudo, so we try uh, sudo without sudo, FTP. Um, we have the IP. Username Mike, and the password is password. Let's see if this works. So it has worked indeed. If you type ls-la, you see now we have been uh, connected to a different directory, right? Which is which seems to be a home directory, like to Mike. So once when we connected with anonymous access, we have been connected to a different directory that contains totally different files, public notice. But with a privileged access like Mike and the user and the password tied to that user, we have seen here totally different combination of files. Among the files is the file that is intended to be um, acquired. So get ftp.c. And now we can safely assume that we have solved the challenge. Exit get ftp. And this is the flag. Okay, let's see now the questions. So, enumerating FTP. How many ports are open on the target machine? We saw that it is one port. No, we're incorrect. Let's get back to the map scan. In map. Okay, 21. So, for me, it is only one port. Um, how many ports are open on the target machine? One. Still not correct. Two. Why two? I don't know why. Actually, let me get back more again. 21. So what is the other port? I have no idea. Okay. So what port is FTP running on? 21. What variant of FTP is running on it? Variant means like the, the version running on the server. What kind of software running the FTP? It could be BST, VSFTPD, it could be um, ROFTPD. It's the kind of software running the FTP server. So in this case, it is VSFTPD. So we can take that. Okay, what's the name of the file in the anonymous FTP directory? So we have logged into the anonymous uh, user and we have seen that the file name is public notice. What do you think a possible username could be? We saw it, it was Mike. All right. Next is exploding FTP. So what is the password for the user Mike? It was password. What is ftp.txt? It is the flag. So after we cracked the password, we found the flag to be uh, this one. Okay. So, and lastly, we have expand your knowledge. You can see the links here, more info about that, maybe write-ups. And click on completed, and we have completed the network services room. So with that done, let me get back to the CompTIA Pentest Plus pathway and see where we are. Nothing, uh, not more left. So basically we have 
So we finished this, this. Next we have another room for network services. In this room, we're gonna exploit many or not many actually, more network services. Among the network services are NFS, SMTP, MySQL. Okay, we're gonna do these in the next or the future videos. And after we do that, we are done with the CompTIA Pen Test Plus. Nothing left more than that. All right then, I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video.